The hot, humid weather had Centennial Beach packed. You can't do anything, really anything else but go in the pool because it's just so hot. A dip in the water is one way to stay cool, but it's also important to keep hydrated throughout the day. You want to use rehydration solution that is essentially a sports drink that has the salts in it. And you want to avoid alcohol and caffeine, which are actually diuretics, meaning they'll make you uh, lose fluids pretty readily. Lack of fluids plus extreme heat can cause profuse sweating, pale clammy skin, and weakness. When left untreated, the body's temperature can climb to more than 106 degrees, which can lead to disorientation, unconsciousness, and even death. They could have heat stroke, heat exhaustion, heat cramps, or it could be indirect. In other words, they're fragile people with medical problems or at extremes of age that just have more difficulty when it's that hot out. If someone is showing symptoms, it's best to move them under shade, give them water if conscious, loosen tight clothing, and apply a wet towel to their skin. Should symptoms appear more severe, like vomiting or unconsciousness, call 911 immediately. It's not just people that can suffer heat stroke. Our furry friends need to take precautions too. It's really important that we minimize the amount of time that they're outside, keep them to just short walks, doing their business, and then in. If you are gonna spend time outside, make sure that they have plenty to drink and make sure you're monitoring them for any kind of heat exhaustion. Your car can be particularly deadly. Never leave kids and pets in them, even if only for a minute. I put a thermometer in mine to see just how hot it would get inside. Not even 10 minutes later, the temperature inside the vehicle skyrocketed nearly 30 degrees, even with the windows cracked, making it deadly for children and pets. A uh, car actually becomes more or less like an oven. Pets and kids aren't going to be able to protect themselves. If you do see them left in a vehicle, don't be afraid to call 911 as soon as possible. It could save a life. I'm Kevin Maycheck for Naperville News 17.